Today, what I see is that we have to know how to conquer emotional obesity. We have to understand that there is something on the inside that we are starving for. What we are dealing with today is emotional obesity. And so for me, the problem is not food so much as understanding that our feelings are out of control and we're trying to stuff either them down with food because we can't deal with them, we're afraid of them, or we don't really know the language of our feelings. And I am here to tell you that your feelings are worth a fortune. grew up eating in an Italian restaurant six days a week and on the seventh day my parents took me out to a restaurant. My dad was a chef and my mother was a chef. So do I know something about people who have weight problems? Yes I do. Do I know something about food? Yes I do. And I love food. I love good food, I love nourishing food, and I see what's happening right now to our children, the obesity crisis, and I also see what's going on in terms of our farmers, and what's going on with the ingredients and packaged foods, and so it's my desire to inspire you to take a look at your body and take a look at what you are putting into your body, but more important, take a look at what you are putting into your mind because the moment that you feed your mind, you will change your habits. How important is this diet or that diet? All diets work and all diets don't work. In fact, what you are currently eating is your diet of choice. So I never want to make food the enemy. What I'm trying to do is mount a perfect weight image, something that means something to you, something that is stronger than your habit. Remember, if I have a smoking habit, my image must be so much stronger than going to that cigarette. It's the same with food. My image has to be so much stronger than all my patterns, my fat patterns, my eating patterns, my junk food habits. And the reason is this, once I get that perfect weight image, I want to develop single-minded focus. I have an idea. Can we just stop a second and lower the lights? Now, this is what I mean by single-minded focus. All of my attention, my concentration is going towards that perfect weight blueprint. This is happening within the workshop of my imagination. I am feeding myself that blueprint. Now what happens is, is the moment you step out of imagination and you're back in life, you have TVs, you have magazine, you have people saying, let's go eat this, let's go eat that. Distraction. This is mosquito consciousness. You're all over the place. And so someone says, oh, I did the CDs or I did my affirmation. But their awareness or attention has been taken off that image. They no longer have single-minded focus. They're in distraction mode. May we bring the lights back up, please? And that's the reason why, you know, you can go on a diet, you can lose the weight, and then six months later or a year later put it all back because you never changed your basic mental blueprint regarding food. You never changed your basic emotional feelings that really may not have anything to do with food. We have to understand that there is something on the inside that we are starving for. We have to understand that there is a program linked to scarcity, lack, and we want to come and create programs that come from abundance, that come from fulfillment, that come from nourishment. And until you understand that your body has certain laws, it has to be given nourishing food, it has to have rest, it has to have peaceful sleep, it must have clean water, it must have what it needs in order to be the chariot of this great 
spirit that each of us house within us. And so again, my goal is to inspire you how to image first. Because once you have the proper weight image, then you can use whatever diet that works for you. You can come to food, not fearing it, not making it the enemy, not making it your lover. Simply making it the most wonderful, pleasurable, nourishing experience that you possibly can. That's what I hope that my audio programs, teleseminars, consultations, and all of the work from present memory will hopefully do for you. The key here is to conquer emotional obesity. Conquer the inner you, feed the inner you what you really need, and you will change your relationship to food forever.